Hey guys, we're outside a Peterbilt showroom today. We're going to go in and trade this truck in for a new one I downloaded a couple of days ago. So, let's go in and take a look, shall we? So, here we are in the showroom and let's go and find it. And there we are, Peterbilt Dom 379 72 inch auto cab. Sounds posh. We start off with engine power 450. It's got 1650 pound of torque at 1200 RPM. It's got an Eaton gearbox 13 speed with a ratio of 3.55 and 237 gallon fuel tanks. This price 117,976. And like I said, we're going to trade in old Peterbilt. So, let's go and have a look at what we can do with configuration. First, let's take a look outside. There's lots of chrome on it already. It looks very stylish, just as it is, no modifications. Let's take a quick look inside. Here's the interior, before we start doing any work on it. Again, it's pretty much ready to roll if you don't spend any money on it. But first off, let's take a look at the chassis and what what do we have? Okay, let's go through them. We have a green one. It's red. Blue. Another red. Oh no, that's orange. Rake. Well, that's kind of like a white. I suppose. We've got purple. We've got stock, which is just black. And my favourite, yellow. Because it reminds me of when vehicles come from the assembly line. The engine blocks and so on are yellow uh, as a rebuild. And chassis are quite often yellow. So I'm going to stick with the yellow. Move on to the engine. Like we said, we start off with the Cummings ISX 15 uh, 450, which it's got just normal everyday power, nothing special on there. So let's go down and have a look at some of the different layouts we got. Next one is the uh, Packer MX 13, which runs at lower RPM. That's a 455. Still doesn't give much extra on what we've already got. Next we have the Cummings uh, 507, the M11, which that one runs at 1200 RPM, foot pound of 1550, that's better, it's 43,500. Detroit Diesel Series 60, it's 515, 1650, at 12 to 1420 RPM. So and that one gives us a little bit of heavy lifting and a little bit more transversal which is always good moving on to a cat 346e which is a 550 engine it's 1850 foot pound uh, 12 to 1480 rpms again it's 48,000 the Cummings IS signature 600 which is a 1250 pound engine uh, 1250 RPMs and that one does give us quite a bit it's optimized for hill climbing a little bit better and this we've got a little bit more on the hauling side for heavy hauling so I think it's either that or for cat I think I'm going to stay with the Cummings onto the gearbox that's what we've got at 13 speed uh, with a 355 differential that's got a 12 29 0 73 ratio let's go down a little bit this one's got the same ratio uh, it's got a little bit more differential oh and that one gives us a little bit more on tr uneven terrain hill transverse and heavy cargo next one 13 speed again this one's got a 4.10 uh, differential that one doesn't change much that's an Eton 10 speed, 
85, another 10 speed at 320, 10 at 355, and a little bit more. Uh, another 10 speed. This one's a 370. It's not making much difference to the configuration. That one's another 10 at 410. 18 speed, okay. Oh, that one drops back a little bit. Well, it's a 293. At uh, 342. Adds a bit back in. What's this one do? It's more for a heavy cargo. That's 18 speed at 370. 391 on Eaton. Still 18 speed. Gives us a little bit of move, movability. A lot more hill climb. And quite a bit more on uneven terrain. Back down to 13 speed. Oh wow. That's jumped us up quite a bit. That's a 308. Uh, 13 speed at uh, differential of 308. This one. That one really takes us up at 355. Still only 13 speed. That one's got a retarder. This one also has a retarder. Not so good for low vehicles, but good for heavies. That's a 378 retarder. It's 410. Oh, okay, so we're up there. Now, 18 speed uh, with retarder. It drops it back a little bit, but that's got a lot of going on here. A 342 18 speed. Wow. That one really kicks it up a lot. 370 and a 391. Which one do I like? Hmm. I like that one. Yep, we'll go with that one. So, next, let's go over to a paint. Okay, so, what do we have here? We have a custom metallic. We have standard custom color. And we have a white and a citrine metallic gold. Which looks quite nice on its own. But that's more of a 70s kind of vibe to it. And it looks very nice on its own, but it doesn't complement my trailer, which is black. So we're going to set up a metallic color on it. And I was playing around earlier, and this is what I came up with. Here we go. It starts off with black base. We have a kind of purpley blue, and we have a kind of green, off green, and it gives us this kind of purpley blue, and it shows up purpler when we have the highlights, just like that, there we go, so that's our colour, and I like that. It goes well with the chrome. Now we'll go on to the exterior. There's lots of points to go on. So first of all, let's start off with the wheels. Rims first. And let's turn this so we can see. Standard steel, steel wide. I don't really like wide um, advanced. And we've got DOMS 10 hole. I do like them, but we can go better. There's a standard, standard paint, only one color. I suppose we could always try it. No, not quite what I was expecting. Wides again. Eagle, which are yours, and we have Eagle Paint, Deep Blue, oh, Seagull Whites, sorry, and we have Deep Blues and Seagull Whites, so I think we're going to go with these, the Seagull Deep Blues, they go with the rest of the vehicle quite nicely. Okay, now for tyres, go back to the front with the tyres and rims, let's deal with the rims, 
There's the rims. Now, tyres. Yes, we can paint these up. Um, I don't want to go white. But not too dark. Look, okay. So, yep, we'll save that colour. Let's pop out there. We'll save it. Okay, let's go to the back again. Okay, yep, we can paint these up. on the other side as well. Yep. There we go. That looks really smart actually. I remember doing my first car back in the 80s, early 80s, with chalk on the wheel walls. Yeah, I know. Uh, a bit past it, but it looked okay. So now, let's go and... What's this? Oh. Bumper. No, we're not going to do for bumper just yet. Trailer cables. Okay. Oh, the stand. There we go. We'll put that on. And then we'll go to the bumper. So what have we got? We've got the fat one. That one. That's Dom's. I don't like that one. I don't like that. And I don't like that. It needs a full. I like that. I think I like that. Yeah, I prefer I prefer this one over the others. So uh, let's watch this piece. The back side, okay. Okay. That looks okay. We'll leave that. Wings. What sort of wings do we want? Good. Of a long one. I like the long ones. Good. I don't remember seeing trucks with short ones like that. We'll go with the long ones. Let's try it. No, actually, I don't. I think I'm going to try with skirt. There we go. A little bit of chrome on it. No, I don't think I'm going to put one on. Pop off it. I don't really know. I suppose chrome would work. So we've got chrome. We'll put this on. What else have we got out here? Ah, mirrors. Let's deal with a mirror. So we've got that particular type. We have that type. Or oh, we got these, which are my favourite. With CB Ariel. So we're going to stick with that. Steps and again we've got a lot of different steps. So we've got box steps which is what we have on now. DOMS 3Ds. We have Boxwood logo. Boxwood logo wet. Paint. Another box paint without the logo. And paint 
glitter with a logo. The box logo light works for me. Yes, that one works for me. The, the air filter outside. We've uh, got three versions. That one with all the lights. We've got the cone. And we've got the stock with lights again. I'm going to get fun. Uh, so later on we can add more lights to it. Hood skirt. That's that piece down here. Now we've got paint. Oh, we've got chrome. I think chrome works best there. It really does. Okay, let's get to the front. And front bumper. We've got Dom's. It looks like something out of Mad Max. Lots of lights. Painted one. No, I don't like the paint in the stock. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Now, is that the grill wing? Ah, yes, there we go. I see where it's going. It's down here. I think we'll go with the stock. Emblem. So we're going to stick the emblem in them. Emblem. Emblem. There we go. Get it right one day. And what's this here? Bull bar. And we have black. Oh, we have chrome. Chrome's good. Gun lights. Projectors. Painted projectors. They're too modern. We have stock. Oh, the eyelids. Let's stay with stock. Real shroud. Oh, we have a lot of these again. Let's just go through them. So, out of them, I'm not sure which one I actually like. I like that. I don't like painted. I don't like that one. Nor that one. So, I think it's going to be that one. Lots of chrome again. Three bar. Painted. Five bar. Chrome. Painted. Seven. Chromed. And painted. I don't like how it's too many. We'll go with a three bar chrome. I'm starting to take shape now. What's next? The emblem is done. Ornament. So we've got a choice here. We have a swan. We have swan with hood pulls. I kind of like that. Just adds them in. We have a stock. And we have paint. Okay, I'm going to go with the uh, hood pulls. And we have a hood trim. It's how detailed this thing is. We have a stock one. We have a painted one. I like the chrome. So we're going to go with that. Ah, for fenders, I forgot about them. So, what do we have? We've got the uh, customs. We've got a good choice here. I don't know if uh, that's too much. Again, I am using them on the front coloured. So, yeah, I'll go with painted. Goes with the rest of it. Going right. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a lot of frame lights. Oh, we don't need them right now. Deck plate. Okay, we have a chrome deck plate. Painted one. Or a swirl. I don't like that. I don't like painted. I, I don't know. I don't know if that takes away from it or not. But, there's choices anyway. Now, where did I find the deck plate? There we go. Yeah, I like that view. It's pretty cool. I like that one. Okay. I think we are 
actually done with the outside. Ah, glass. Tinted floor plan. Tinted floor plan. I think I'm going to stay with the tint on this one. Horns on the roof. Full set. That makes a lot of noise, but yep. Sun visor. Right, we've got another group. Jot visor, jot visor 2. For tie and for fancy. That's two more. The one which doesn't take up. There we go. Yeah, I'll try that one. I can always come back and change it out at some point. I think we go inside now. There's the shifter and let's have a look. What do we have for it? Ended it on or a custom? Ooh. No. I don't like that. Not me. Okay, so we'll just go with that one. That looks more natural for me. TV radio. Okay, Cobra. Let's find a plain Cobra. Because the reason I said plain is I had one back in the 80s. Well, late 70s, early 80s. And I had for Cobra 148 GT. Multibanded. And that was a great radio. And that was back when I was in England, so it was totally 100% illegal. But I liked it, I swore by it. I also had one called a Marco Excalibur, which was a big, hefty rack type of radio. Worked his home base on uh, electricity, or you could put it in a truck and run it off 24 volts. I'm trying to just find one which doesn't... No, no, not quite. I like that, but that's not quite right. Nope. No. There we go. That's about where we should be. And we have a dome light, I think. Cab light, yes. What we got? We have a lot again. I'm not sure about these. But I think I'll go with the C blue because it goes with the rest of the vehicle in a way. A bug shield? Hmm. No. Nope. Oh, don't want a bug shield. We'll leave that off. It takes away from the front end. Okay, next. Let's start working on the cab. Steering wheel first. Let's just go through. Oh, now that's different. There's too many to choose from. But, I don't know. That looks weird. But I suppose somebody would like that. It's not my type. I don't like the bright red. That kind of works. Yep, I'll go with that. Now for an accessory, I believe. Yep. We will go with... What have we got down here? Let's have a look. Got a blue. Yellow. Red. Carbon. Chrome. And... A wood. No. I like the red. After it sounds. Blue. No. I'll go with the red. Bezel? Bezel? Okay. Now, I believe this is round for gauges. So, let's start off with carbon. Chrome.
I think I will run. I'm going to go with the swirl. It lightens them up a little bit. The dashboard itself. Okay. Again, we have all these things. I like that. Chrome. That's too much chrome. That one. It's kind of like a brushed metallic. Painted one. Swirl. And wood. Kind of goes with stay will, but it's dark. That's pretty cool. Stock's too dark. I kind of like that. Yes, I do like that. So I'm going to go with that one. So next, go over here. Dash trim, marble, the paint, paisley. Yeah, paisley. There's the stock. There's the swirl and the wood. I don't know. That actually works for that part. And cabin trim. Let's see. Carbon. Leather. Marble. I don't think marble works well. The wood doesn't work too well, so. Let's go with that. Now, what's this one? Wolf box. Carbon. Obviously it's dark, the swirl, and the wood. Actually, yes, that works, I like that. It complements the rest of this cab over here. Floor, or carpeting. There we go, now we can see it better. Carpet. Very. It just doesn't look right in the cab. Oak and paint. Oak looks good. I like the oak. Uh, but I'm not sure about it. The ash looks okay because it darkens it up. So we'll go with the ash. Let's move around the cab. Two for seats. What have we got for seats? We have Italian leather, we have normal leather, and we have stock. I actually like the Italian leather. That's colour. And for padding, colour match? I don't know. Don't like felt, it doesn't look quite right. For grey leather, there's that Italian. Paisley again, stock. Oh, black leather. I don't know. Colour match. Let me see what I can do with colour matching. Let's go back to it over here. That kind of looks weird. Italian. And we will go with Italian leather. There we go. That looks very smart. I believe that's all done. I don't think I missed any of the modifications. And there we are. Let's trade it in. Finding a new route. It looks really nice out here. I like the wheels. They look really nice. 
there's still customization to do on it. Let's see what it sounds like now. This is your important part, the sound. Here we go. Oh, that sounds pretty good inside. Let's go outside and listen to it. That sounds nice. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. As a general rule, a new video will get posted at least once a week. So it's a good night from me and a good night from him. Good night.